welcome back all of you to the next news program on uh, manufacturing ebus now go ahead and then uh, i'll share my screen now now uh, we are going to begin with an activity of uh, kitting and decitting and this is a famous one and there are some industries which uses this to a great extent actually so kitting and decitting is now used to a great extent in some industries <clears throat> so let us go there let's we'll go to manufacturing now now let us go there and then create an item now find good items master items premanar and doing it now so this time what happens i want to know it clearly so i will now say take some number say 33 i am going to take it now when 33 underscore what happens the sports kit i am creating a sports kit now <coughs> i will now say sports kit this will be an ATU item actually ampersand ATU item because if it is an ATU item what happens from order management it gets interfaced to manufacturing directly so we have to apply an ATU item only when you want to manufacture the item so if the item needs to be manufactured in in whip then what happens we have to apply ATU item ATU item template okay on done now <coughs> ATU item template i am applying it fine plus commit so by which what happens the item is now created it is an ATU item fine go there and then assign it now come plus commit The sports kit is there. We go there, and then control down arrow. <coughs> control down arrow, and here order one thirty three underscore order one. No say bat. So this is the thirty three underscore bat. This is the cricket bat. Now play a purchased item to play. There are standard components of a of a this thing. Thirty three bat. And then we go there and assign it over here now. <coughs> Control down arrow. Then what happens? No say. Thirty three underscore ball. Thirty three underscore ball. <coughs> Fine. Cricket ball. <coughs> now play table of pocket. Table of pocket. Fine. Control commit. Then go and assign it to the R. So bat and ball are there. the not for the no for stems no i control down arrow uh 33 underscore stems and again a purchasing template and go there stems is there <coughs> so bag ball stems and then finally what happens will be having uh the bag sports bag i control down arrow and 33 underscore sports underscore bag so the entire thing will be kept on the sports bag <coughs> the whole contact will be kept on the sports bag thank you come come it now for us <coughs> so we are not done it fine we will go there and then we'll now create an what happens a bill now i go there <coughs> we'll go there and then i'm create a bill now i go to the bill of materials for the bills on the one bills <coughs> So the parent item will be the kit actually, which is an ATU item. Fine. So 33 percentage, fine. Kit percentage is an ATU item. That is the one which will be having as a parent item. Now, once again, I have made a mistake here. <coughs> 33 percentage, kit percentage is an ATU item. So it is a kit actually. Once again. <coughs> So it will be having components now. Fine, go there. <clears throat> and since it is not going to have what happens any routing, what happens all of them will be having operation one as the what's called operation sequence actually. Go there. It is a thirty-three <coughs> underscore bag. Go tap. So we'll have only one bag. What happened? I forgot my thirty-three percentage entering. 
So back ball stumps, I have forgotten to what happens. Assign that I think probably. I'm probably not asking. I cancel it. And then go, go to the window. So here, what happens? I have forgotten to assign it now. Inventory items, master items. 33 percentage, SPO percentage, query for it now. So it's a sports bag, which I forgot to assign it in probably to the organization. Sports bag is the one, right? All TO, assign it to the arm. Come here now, find the bag. So 33 percent bag find. Uh, has no valid revision. I mean, uh, something is not having your item has uh, no valid revision. Uh, rather, oh, do you know why it's happening? Because what happens? Uh, I have assigned it now, whereas the bill creation has uh, started before itself. At 107, what happens? Uh, 20 it has started, whereas now uh, the item has been assigned just now. So, because of which, what happens? Uh, now this giving a combination. So, when you're starting it, you should not do it. Fine, clear, clear, clear it now. Fine, F6, I will not clear it now. Now, close this now. So, you have to start the thing only when all the items are assigned. Now. That's the reason. Go there, go to the bills, and then go to the bills. bills. So, I know, say, put 33 percentage kit now. After the items are assigned, then only you should start it. That is what it means. Now. Fine. That is the 33 percentage, fine, bag, percentage, and then give a tap. So, go there. Uh, <clears throat> this is what 33 percentage, fine, uh, ball percentage, fine. I will not say there are two balls are there. This one, fine. This has got only one, fine. One, one bag and then two balls. Go there. 33 percentage and then give a tap. So bat, I will not go for bat now. Fine. Then afterwards, what happens? I will not go for bat now. So I will not say it's a. What happens? I will not say three bats now. Fine. Just for understanding, I will begin. Fine. So three bats and then go there. And then what happens? It is 33 percentage stumps now. Terms is or I will not say it's four. Just for understanding, we are doing now. Fine, it is not four. So one, two, three, four of the quantities. And then uh, the bat, ball, and stumps will be kept on the bag. And then what happens? The guy will be carrying the bag actually. Fine. So the guy will be carrying the bag will be containing these things. <clears throat> so in the, the bat, ball, and stumps will be kept into the bag. And then this entire thing is known as a sports kit actually. Fine. We have so one, two, three, four. Fine. What else? Go there. Cutlass commit. So bat, ball, and stumps. <clears throat> so Ball, bat, and stumps. This is the order now. Right? Ball is uh, what happens? Uh, two, bat is three, and then stumps. Ball, bat, and stumps. This is the order. So we are not done it now. So this is going to be manufactured. So once when you manufacture the kit, what happens? It is going to draw from inventory. Fine. One bag, two uh, two bats, and then uh, three balls, and then upwards four stumps. <coughs> Fine. Uh, ball, bat. So two balls, and then three bats and stumps. It will not draw from inventory and then create a kit actually. <coughs> now what happens? I will now go and then unpack it now. When, when the manufacturer supplies it, what happens? We have to unpack it now. So what happens? We go there. So the 23 sports kit is now created. We will now unpack it now. For which what happens? You go to the bill of materials. You go to the syrups. <coughs> uh, bill of materials. Go to the syrups. And then go to alternates. Now. So alternate is alternate way of manufacturing. Double click on it. We will now make an unpack one. Find control down arrow. I will now make an unpack. So this is an unpacking way. Fine. Go there. Unpack. So take a copy of it now. And then put in this place now. It is unpacked and just commit. So now what happens? I will now make an unpack bill now. Fine, go there. We will now make an unpack bill. Then go there. Go to the bills, bills of materials. The second, what happens? Uh, 23, uh, rather 33 percentage. Fine, kit percentage. So if I try to click on the components, it says the bill will already exist. Now. If I click on it, what happens? It will now say the bill is already existing. You cannot create it now. But we can create an alternate bill basically. Fine. So if the bill is already existing, we can create alternate bill. So one more bill we cannot create. Now. Click on OK and then accept it. And then what happens? You know, put unpack now. Unpack. So here what happens? You go there. <coughs> is what I will now say 33 percentage. <coughs> and then give it tap. I will now put the bag. So when you unpack it, what happens? One bag has to go into the place. Fine. I will now make it as one. Now. Fine. It is minus one. Now. So minus one is basically what happens is considered as what? Uh, byproduct actually. <laughs> minus ones are basically byproducts. So when you manufacture the sports kit with alternate one, pack one, then what happens? One sports bag will go into this now, into inventory actually. And go there. Next is 20th now, fine. 33 percentage. And then next is what? Balls, you know, fine. Ball is two, and then uh, stump is three, and then uh, what happens? Uh, uh, ball, uh, uh, what are the next is ball, isn't it? Ball, bat, and the stump, isn't it? Ball. I'll now make a ball. 
So ball will now be minus two now. <coughs> minus two and go there. And then uh, next is what? Go to the ball, but fine. There is three percentage bat percentage. It is minus minus three now. <coughs> it is minus three. And then go there. And then finally stumps now. Thirty-three percentage. ST percentage. Get that? So it will be minus four now. <coughs> And then you act that back over there, control is coming. <laughs> and then what happens? You go there, go to the metal control, and then mail of them, all of them as assembly pull upon up, upon completion to be completing it. Fine, go there. So it's a ball bat stems. Let me go and then query the original one also. Fine, go there. Go to the original one. So 33 percentage. Query it now, fine. So it has to show me what ball bat stems, original one. So ball bat stems, down arrow, alternate is also ball bat stems. Okay, fine. Yeah. So the unpack is going to unpack and then what happens? Send this many quantities to the inventory. <clears throat> Go there and commit. So now what happens? Uh, both the bills are now created. Uh, now what happens? Uh, we are now receiving the bill. Fine. We'll now go then. What happens? We'll now make a manufacturer. Okay. Go to the whip and then go to the job now. Now what happens? The uh, supplier has now supplied 50 sports kit now. So in the in the manufacturing, what happens? I'm going to create a discrete job. Fine. Go to the discrete job, job, discrete job. So let me get a new job now. <clears throat> I will now create a new job now. Go there. So I have to create a new job now. <clears throat> go click on new now. So here, what happens? I will now go there. I will now say 33 underscore job one now. Right. The assembly is what? I will now go there. It is a 33 percentage. And then you tap the assembly is sports kit now. And then I have to supply an alternate actually. I have to supply an alternate. So it is now giving you caution that there is no routing at all. Fine, go there. So I have to supply an alternate bill. Okay, fine. Click on OK. And then now saying, okay, fine, go there. I will now say 50 quantities have come over here. Now. I will now give a start date. Now. Go there, click on okay. <coughs> what else? And then what happens? I will now make it as a release one now. My job is released. <coughs> fine. And then here, what happens? I go there, go to the what's called alternate. Now. I will now provide the alternate. Fine. It's unpack. It's alternate. So what happens? This is what I am going to manufacture now. Fine. So when I manufacture it, what will happen? <coughs> uh, I, he has now given me a sports kit. Fine. One sports kit again. So here, what happens? Everything will now double now. Fine. You just see what happens. Then go there, go to the routing, and then he is not coming. Fine. Completion supplementary stores now. Fine. Source is on. Stivo R E S. Then go back. Sorry. Stivo R E S. Stores is on. So we are not doing the supplementary routing. Fine. There is nothing to be fine. There is the unpack bill. Now. Unpack bill is now based on bill only. Fine. Come it. I am releasing it now. If I manufacture it, you'll now see what happens now. Fine, God bless, commit. So we'll now go on the manufacture it now. <clears throat> so he has given me one sports kit. And then what happens when you want to manufacture it, uh, the sports kit will also be sent to the inventory also. So what happens? We already have one sports kit in the inventory. And then what happens? The sports kit will again be sent to inventory. Fine. The sports kit will again be sent to inventory. So that is an undesirable one now. When you manufacture it, what happens? The FG. This is the FG actually. Fine. This is the FG. And then the FG will also be sent to inventory. So, whereas what happens? We have received this FG. And then what happens? We are only unpacking it. So, what happens? We have to loop the parent into the what happens into the component. So, that what happens? We will not issue also. Fine. We have to issue it out. So, we will not try to modify this job or not. We will not go there. Try to modify this now. Fine. Go there. We will not try to modify it now. <clears throat> so, what happens when you manufacture it? The FG also goes into the one. Already we have one FG in the inventory. And then this will now become two now. Fine. We already have received one or 50 numbers we have received. And then once when 50 number jobs is completed, what happens? It will now become 100 now. So we have to issue two numbers of uh, this thing to the job actually. So you go there. So you go to the VIP. And then here what happens? You go to the jobs and schedules. And then here what happens? Uh, uh, VIP discrete. VIP discrete. And then here what happens? You go there. Uh, 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 what happens? We have to go to the place job schedule details and then go to the what middle requirements. So with job schedule details, middle requirement there, you have to modify the job. Fine, go to the double click on it. And then you have to modify the job. Fine. This is a 33 job percentage. And then you would have and then click on fine now. And then here, what happens? We have to modify the job. We have to add this now quantity. Fine. Go there. Let me add the quantity. So 33 percentage from kit to percentage. And then you would have. So it is not possible at all. So if this is going to be a parent, parent cannot loop in the component level, fine, if it is going to be a standard job. On a standard job, what happens, a parent cannot loop at all. So it is a primary assembly, it is a requirement of the assembly, so it is not possible at all. So in such cases, what happens, we have to make a non-standard job. In a non-standard job only, what happens, we can now loop the parent actually. So this is wrong actually. 
fine, close it now. So we go there, <clears throat> and then what happens? We'll now create one more job now. So in the non-standard job, what happens? Let us say a chair is not defective. So we will now issue the chair itself to the manufacturing, and then what happens? Is that they are going to repair it, and then they will now send back the chair actually. So the the parent will look only if it is going to be a non-standard job. Fine, go to the discrete discrete job, and then let us now create a new job. Fine, it is thirty-three. Underscore what happens? The job two I am creating it now. Fine, it is not a standard; it is a non-standard. Non-standard jobs are what maintenance is a non-standard. Fine, lubrication, and that you know doing some services on a particular one, so that will be non-standard. In a non-standard, we can very well loop the parent into the component level. Fine, when a standard it is not possible, so go there. So all service-related activities are all non-standard jobs. Here assembly is not mandatory. Actually. In a standard assembly is mandatory. Here assembly is not mandatory, so I will not put the assembly. Also fine. What is it? Kit percentage, then we tap. So class. So what happens against which accounting class you have to now do it now. We may even have different different accounting classes in which what happens the uh, the expense items are all automatically populated. Fine, now say is the expense or rework whatever it is now. So everything will be having different accounts on this now. Then go it also. So start quantity is fifty now. End quantity is fifty. We'll now give a start date now. Fine, control L. I'll now give a start date. End date also I'm going to give it. Since it is not having any routing, what happens? It's not going to have practically no time. In other words, what happens? The unpacking operation we are not monitoring the time taken for this. Or if you want to monitor it, what happens? Again, we say exactly oh, how much. What happens? It's not going to work. It's going to get completed only bit two hours. My God, us. So again, we put time. Fine. But what happens? Uh, it's only for recording purposes. But what happens? Uh, we don't have any control on this. Now what happens? It becomes a reference now. Fine, this place build references there. So I will now reference is nothing but alternate now. Fine, go there. I will now reference it now. Fine, stop it. Alternate. Fine. Uh, alternate is unpack. Fine, unpack is alternate. Fine, go there. Alternate. So reference. What happens? I am now referencing it actually. Fine, what is unpack is alternate. So go there. Go to the routing. And then here what happens? We go there. Finish the building. Source the one. Fine, go there. Complete it now. So we have, we have mentioned everything. Fine, go there. Uh, status is what released. Release the one. <clears throat> and let's commit. So a non-standard job transaction is complete. One record of line and say fine. What is so non-standard job? We now made fine. Third thing is job two. So third thing is job two is now ready. Fine. Go there. We will now receive fifty quantities from the supplier now. Fine. As a purchase order receipt, we will be receiving it. So we will now make a miscellaneous receipt over here now. So as a PO receipt, we are receiving it now. Fine. Go there. Go to the miscellaneous the uh, miscellaneous transactions, miscellaneous transaction, and then let us now receive uh, this thing now. <clears throat> Type is what M percentage R E miscellaneous receipt now. Fine, go there and then put an account over here. Fine, go to Altar. <clears throat> so here, what happens is what it is a 33 percentage kit percentage. Fine, give a tab. Ah, uh, it's okay. Fine, go there. Ah, uh, 33 percentage. And give a tab. Sports kit. Fine. I am putting it in store sub inventory itself. What happens is now the receipt. So as a purchase order receipt, I'm now receiving kits. This many kits now. Fine, plus commit. Fine, we're all there. So this many kits are here. Receiving it to the receipt. So if you go on and have a look at the stock, it'll now show you that what happens. Sports kit 50 numbers are there. Whereas the remaining things, nothing is there actually. <clears throat> so what happens? We are now receiving 50 numbers. Fine, go there. Close it now. Close it. Here, yeah. go to the inventory. Good items, and then good item search now. I'll now go and then mask it with 33. I'm 33 percentage. Fine, show quantity. Click on find now. Oh God, this is giving a problem. I don't know why it's so fine. I don't know how to see this now. Fine. So we are unable to see this now. <clears throat> uh, status is active. Give something without anything. Click on the. That shows all the quantities are not not showing anything. But the screen itself is giving a problem. Four. 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 So now go for our applications and task now. <clears throat> and now, so by which part of the screen run, and then we'll go there and then do it now. Fine, go there, go to this place, and then you close it. 
and then close it, close it, and then you go there, and then again click on the papers invoice. <clears throat> We'll come back to again this week. <clears throat> so switch responsibility to manufacturing now. I'll go to the manufacturing. The manufacturing, what happens? You go to the inventory. Uh, will not go on then. What happens? On and already on and quantity. So through this navigation, will not go there and see this now. So for M1R, so we're going for M1R. So it is a what happens? That will not say 33 percentage kit percentage and then give it a tap and find out now. So we have a sports kit available here. Fine, we have 50 numbers now. So the moment I manufacture it, what happens? You don't see what happens. The 50 numbers will be basically coming out now. Right? So uh, we have uh, gone there and then we'll not go there. And then we'll not go to the what? Whip. <clears throat> job to and go there. And the whip will not go there. And then go to the jobs and schedules. And then we'll not go for material requirement now. So we go there and then we'll not wait now. So it's 33 percentage 2 is a job. It is fine now. Here we can very well lose the parent now and go there. We can very well lose the parent. 23 percentage kit to percentage and then give it a tap. It's now giving you only note. Previously, what happens? It was an error actually. Now it is not only giving a note now. I click on it and then go further and then go to the quantities now. So we had to issue two numbers. Per assembly, we'll be issuing two numbers now. And then supply type, what happens? Make it as assembly pool now. An assembly pool. And then the supply supplementary is stores. Right. Stores. Here, what happens again? Uh, there is a default one is coming fine. Always uh, make a change to stores. Now, otherwise, what happens? It will be sending back to some other sub inventory now. Uh, these are all what happens? Your byproducts now. So, make a change. Go there. And then stores, you make a change. Now. Fine, fine. The supply sub inventory is now made. Fine. There's a receipt sub inventory in this case now. Fine. Everything is assembly. Now let's go and then manufacture this product. Now fine, we can only make a miscellaneous consumption com completion of it. Now fine. So here, what happens? The quantity is what we need two sports kit for every assembly. Because what happens when you manufacture this kit? What happens? It gets manufactured also. Already we have one in the, in the, in the assembly for every assembly. What happens? We have already one in the uh, in the stores now. Upon completion of manufacturing, one more will be going. So both of them are getting issued over here. So both of them are getting issued over here. So what happens? The stock will become zero. Now. The sports kit will now become zero. So fine, go there. So we have now modified the job now and close it now. And then we go there and then do the manufacturing now. Go to the whip. And then here go to the middle transaction, then go to the completion transaction directly for the second job now. <clears throat> for the second job we are doing now. And go there, go to the job. Fine. 33 percentage, what happens is two, and then give it tap. So there is a second job. Fine. Now 50 are available for completion. Fine. Click on continue. And then what happens here? Go there. No need to specify the sub inventory. Fine. We know because the bill itself is not mentioned. Fine. Go there and go for 50. And then what happens straight away? Uh, what happens? Give it and go there. Stores is not only coming actually. And click on done now. So 50 will be manufactured now. So 50 is now getting manufactured now. So we can only make a perform a miscellaneous completion because what I was not having a routing now. Fine, go there and then go to the inventory and then have a look at the stock now. Fine, inventory and then on and availability and then what happens on and quantity. Item is what? Uh, how to query for multiple items? I don't understand now. Fine, the biggest problem. Fine. 33 percentage because once you put it, item is coming actually. I will not go for the sports kit and then you'll not try to find out what happens. You'll not have anything at all. Fine. Nothing is there. So I'll go back one level and fine, go there. Uh, here, can we filter it and then show it in the area? Fine. 33, I want to see all the 33 now. <laughs> go there, go to the online quantity. <clears throat> so 33 percentage, what happens? Uh, ball is one now, fine. 33 percentage. We'll not see only one now, fine. Because everything need not be done. Fine. Go there, percentage, and then what happens? Ball. Fine. ball. So ball, bat, stumps, fine. Go there, and then click on fine now. 33 percentage ball, if you see, what happens? We'll be having 50 numbers of balls now. So ball is basically what happens. You know, see that the quantity will be 100 now. Okay, fine. Ball. 
So bat, bat, ball, and non stops. Okay, fine, fine. So this is all. So we go there and then see the bat now. <clears throat> we'll now go on and see the bat now. How come bat is one? Bat, ball, stumps are what? I don't know. 33 percentage. And then give it a tap. Uh, ball is now 100. Uh, sports bag will be one, and then what happens? Uh, ball is two, and then uh, sports bag, ball, bat, and stuff. If you go on and see the sports bag, what happens? It will be 50 now. If you go on and see, it will be 50 now. So, sports bag will be 50, and then uh, uh, ball is 100 now, and then go there, and then you'll see bat now. And go there. 33 percentage bat percentage, and then give it a tap, and then find it out now. There it will be go showing everything. Fine. Here, what happens? It will be 150 now. Then 150. Uh, sports bag is one and then ball is two and then bat is three and then what happens naturally what happens stumps will be four so these are all got populated now what happens we go there go to the order management area when switch responsibility to order management now what happens the customer is ordering now when the customer is ordering it now and go there the customer is making order also and go to the, go to the orders and returns and go to the sales orders now so go there go to the sales orders <coughs> so it is customer number is what 11 43 and then go to tab and then go to the line items and then he's ordering for a kit now <coughs> so go there he is now saying 33 percentage kit is required for him and go the kit is required so you know put it let's say 10 kits is required for him so apart from that what happens he is now saying what happens i need let's say uh, uh, another 10 extra carry bags also that uh, bag also fine go the 33 percentage what happens the bag also he needs you know percentage and then he needs what uh, he needs 10 bags basically <clears throat> fine so we already have what sports kit uh, the sports bag we already have what uh, 50 bags are available here. So once when you manufacture a 10 sports kit, what happens is 10 bags will be taken. And then what happens since he wants separately bags also, another 10 also will be going out now. So what happens, the stock will now come down from 50 to 40 to 30 now actually. Fine. So the sports kit also gets manufactured and then what happens, it will also be done as a 10 extra one. Fine. So you may even order for the assorted pieces as well as for the, as well as the kit also. Fine. Go ahead and commit now. So go ahead and come So click on book order now. Click on book order. <clears throat> Upon booking, the sports bag will be going to awaiting shipping, and then the kit will be what happens. Book now. <clears throat> Go there. It says what? How come the quantity on hands fails to satisfy reservation? Yes. The, the what happens? The kit is not there at all. The kit is not there in the inventory at all. Fine. It's not saying. But what happens? No, there. Fine. Kit is not there. Click on continue. So go there and then say it's not. Kit is not there. But since the ADP is not applicable, what happens? It becomes become supply eligible. Actually. And this is awaiting shipping for shipping actually. So this is not done. So here what happens, you go there and then now what happens, go to actions and then go to progress order. Upon progressing it, a supply eligible line, what happens, it will be, since it is an ATU item, what happens, it will be interfaced to manufacturing. So create supply order eligible, okay. Your concurrent will now run. <coughs> so the concurrent will now run. This is the concurrent which is running, which is going to mass load the job into it. It is now going to mass load the job into it. <coughs> so this mass loading will be happening. And then there what happens in the inventory, in the manufacturing, we are going to, what happens, manufacture. The unpack operation is a manufacturing operation. The unpack operations and manufacturing operation. Go there and then we don't do the unpack now. So whenever you when go there, as an order master, you output will now have the job number over here now. Note on the job number on this now. So that we are going to manufacture it now. And go there. This is the job number. <clears throat> Fine. When you are manufacturing it, what happens? Not unpack, sorry, it's a pack operation. It is a pack operation. So you go there and then do it. This is a pack operation. Fine, I'll know this is one. So two five eight two five two eight zero nine is a is a pack operation. Fine, go there, and then now you can see that what happens if you go and then see this now. Fine, go there. <coughs> it's not completed. Fine, go, close it now, and then if you give a control of flow one, if you refresh it, what happens? It does not production open. It's a pack operation. Fine, let us go there and then complete the production. Now. Fine, go there, go to the window, and then here what happens? You go to the whip, and again we can only do a completion transaction because there is no routing at all. Fine, go to the completion transaction, and then what happens? The M one. <clears throat> enter in and then let us now enter the job number over here now. Give a tap. Uh, and the job is not released basically. Fine. We have to release the job also and go there. So we go to the whip, go to discrete, and then go to the discrete jobs. Go there. Here I will now paste the job over here. We have a tab now. And click on find now. <clears throat> and then what happens? Release the job first of all. Release the job and cut less commit. And go to the routing. And then here what happens? Provide the supply sub inventory also. By doing it and then cut less commit. We can even uh, provide the supply sub inventory and the proper bill itself. I have not done it now. And go there. So you go there, close it, and then we'll now complete the transaction. Now fine, go to the middle transaction <coughs> and then go to the completion transaction. And then here, what happens? He pays the job number over here now. I give a tab. And then now for 10 and I will click on continue. I go there. 
and then click on demo. Now. And the quantity is 10 now. So 10 kits are getting manufactured now. We are only packing it actually. I'll click on demo. I will not I go there. <coughs> No, no. And if you associate any, what happens, a, a helper or somebody as a routing, what happens, the job be appropriately cost also. And go there. Now, what happens, you go there and see this. Now. If you give a control of one, what happens, this will also be awaiting shipping. Now. It's now awaiting shipping. Now, if you go on and have a look at the stock now, <coughs> you can now see the look at the stock. <coughs> you go there, go to the on and availability, go to what happens, inventory, on and availability, on and quantity. Since the, it has been completed, 10 kits are completed, what happens, you can now see the kit will be available over here now, in percentage kit. Personally, then give it a other mind out. There are 10 kits which are now manufactured and then kept over here. Fine. So we'll have 10 kits over here. It is now ready for shipping. Now. Fine. Kit is now 10. The quantity is kit. If you go there and then query for that, what's called a sports bag now. Fine. Now the stock would have come to 40 now because it has now taken 10 from this now. Fine. Go there. So it is a 33 percentage. Fine. SPU percentage. And then give it a tab. And then if you find it out, what happens? The stock from 50 will now come to 40. So remainly for the remaining items also, what happens? One, two, three, four. So that many multiples will be coming down. Now what happens when you ship it? The forty quantity will now come to thirty, and then the kit will become zero. Fine. Let us go there and then ship it now. Fine. Go there. Go on. So we'll now take a copy of it now. Let us now do the pick and ship of it now. We are going to ship it. So go to the window and then go to the navigator now. We go go there and then go to the shipping transactions. Shipping and then go to the transactions and then we are going to do the pick and ship in one go now. So the order number from order number paste it over here. Thank you. Tab. So I'll now make it as what? Null over here now. Click on find now. We'll be having this now. So what is what happens with the control? What happens? I'm going to select both the lines now. And then here what happens? I'll now pick and ship in one go. Click on pick and ship. So both of them will run fine. It's now doing fine. Click on tab. details. Okay. It'll all be launched. Uh, there is no problem at all. Right? Click on OK. Fine. Uh, on the, all the concurrence will be running now. So it will not have any issues. So that's not. PSLG has to run now. <clears throat> Upon which what happens? The sports kit will be zeroed out and then all the respective components, what happens? Has already been picked during manufacturing. The sports kit, uh, the sports bag, which is an additional requirement, will now come down. From 40, it will now come to 30 now. So PSLG is running now. Fine. So from the store sub inventory, what happens? It'll be coming to the staging sub inventory, and then only when you do the pick confirm, and then what happens? Uh, when you do the what happens? The shipping, then then only the stock gets stock gets depleted actually. Otherwise, what happens? There is our stock available in some other sub inventory of staging actually. So PSLG is running now. So upon completion of it, what happens? You now see <clears throat> this will be shipped actually. Then afterwards, what happens? We have to run the workflow background to close the sales order and then push the uh, what happens the sales order into AR for invoicing actually the customers. And remember, this uh, there are some uh, kits which will be having more than 100 items also. And it becomes virtually difficult for the people to manually monitor. Fine, every, every item will be having different, different quantity. And then what happens uh, to manually monitor the kitting act activity and then depleting your stock is impossible. You only have to create a job and then through which only what happens, we can now do this. I have done only for three or four components, but there are even 50 to 100 components. So some companies which are only doing kitting and de-kitting, what happens is they will now use this for manufacturing actually. Control from to do it. What happens is now staged pick and found, oh God, what happened? I made some mistake or something else. And the auto picking is not happening basically. So we'll not take a move order number now. Fine, we'll now do one and then lock it in. Go there, go to the window. Might have made some mistake there. <coughs> go there. Go to the what happens? The inventory. Go to the move orders. I mean, I modified something. I think probably <coughs> transact move orders, <coughs> and then paste it over here. What happened? The move order number is not visible at all. Oh God. Mm. Close it. Close it. And then go on and have a look at it now. The move order number now. Oh God, staging is basically what? <laughs> staging one uh, is actually a, what's called uh, your locator control to sub inventory actually. So what happens, uh, we have to specify the uh, ITD actually. ITD has to be specified now, fine. Otherwise what happens, it will now fail actually. So it's now stage be confirmed. It is now brought to the staging. And then what happens, we are unable to uh, do something on this now, fine. So that was a mistake actually. Fine, ITD has to be specified, and then afterwards you do it now because I didn't transaction default are required for staging one actually. 
So by this, what happens? The stock gets depleted, and then finally, what happens? You will be able to what happens? See this reduction of stock. So is it clear? The kitting and degitting operations. <coughs> Any doubts on this? <coughs> Shall I go ahead on the next one? Next topic. <coughs> yeah, good, Nana. We are good. So there, what happens? I have forgotten to what happens. Go to the shipping and then go to the what's called setup shipping parameters. Uh, shipping parameters. I should not put staging one here now. Fine, go there. Uh, otherwise, what happens? It will be stage one. Let me make a modification. I want a stage. Stage only. Because, uh, what happens? Staging area is correct. Staging is a normal one, and I think. I don't know what is the problem. Why? The move order, oh god, I think the move order needs to be approved or what? Once again, I don't even know. Then go to the move order and see this. Now, right? Go to the inventory, <coughs> go to the move orders, and then go to the move orders itself, and then query the move order now, and go to the query mode, and then paste it over here now. Query it now. It must be an approved status actually. Pre approved. And go there. And then why we are unable to query that now? The pre approved move order only is correctly coming. When you go to transact move orders, and then when you paste it over here now, it was not coming at all. Come on. So already the item is on the staging sub inventory, right? So the next step will be only the ship information. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is already on the staging inventory. We have to only pick and ship actually. That's correct. That's correct. It's already there on the space only. Fine. That's correct. Oh, I'm making a mistake. I'm in half sleeping actually. <laughs> you go there. I will have to. Oh, I have closed it. Perform ship confirmation so that it will get depleted exactly. from staging sub inventory. Exactly. When you do the pick confirmation, uh, it has not gone automatically. Why? I only done the pick and ship, and then uh, why it has uh, st got stopped at the staging area? I don't understand now. Why? Right. It should have gone there basically. Mm. No, no. Normally the pick release, then followed by ship confirmation, right? But uh, I did a pick and ship actually together actually. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's what it is. Why? Well, uh, somewhere some mistake is there. Okay, fine. So, so you have to now. Yeah, the next step will be you have to manually perform ship confirmation. Exactly. Manually I have to perform ship confirmation. Fine. So this completes the kitting and decatting, and then whenever you have more than 50 or 100 items, 100 components in the kit, and then everything will be having different, different uh, quality and different, different units of measures. It becomes virtually difficult to what happens, uh, deplete the stock for what happens, manually depleting the stock becomes difficult. And so what happens, you know, only perform what happens, yeah, packing and unpacking operation. Unpacking as and when it comes up, and then packing whenever the sales order is coming up. Now. It's a very famous operation. And that too, what happens, the distributors will be using this one. The distributors will be uh, using this and then they will not receive from a main uh, supplier, main manufacturer and then they will not unpack everything and then keep it on the different shelves and then uh, whenever the retailer is asking for it as a sales order, what happens is they will again pack and then the assorted components also will be shipped along to them. Fine. So there, this will be the only manufacturing operation which will be happening at the, at the major distributors area actually. Now we go for the next topic now and that is called what happens the manufacturing collaboration now and go there. So they'll open up the manufacturing collaboration and double click on it. We'll now have the manufacturing collaboration. <clears throat> so here what happens, uh, this is now the order of the day. Many, many companies, because of what happens, uh, uh, the problem with the, um, uh, what happens, the labor. Labor is now highly knowledge and then what happens, they're asking so many benefits from the company. And so what happens, it becomes very difficult to what happens, uh, run the factory with the, with the laborers basically. So what happens, uh, they outsource the equity totally. In uh, what happens in uh, Titan, because of so much of a uh, labor interest, what happens is seventy percent of the manufacturing is now outsourced, and then uh, the blacksmith over there throughout the India, what happens is they manufacture the product and then they send back to this place now. So they only monitor it actually, and nothing else is being done now. So here, what happens? There is a scenario. <coughs> fine. A computer server manufacturing company is outsourcing the job of engraving the company details on the back of the cabinet and later get it spray painted by another supplier. So one supplier is going to engrave <coughs> the company details on the on, the, on the, this thing, and then another will be spray painting it. And then we can even have one more uh, what happens supplier to stuff all the material into the cabinet actually. Fine. Like what happens your motherboard, your hard disk, fine RAM, etc, etc. You can even do the stuffing now. And then finally what happens, the cabinet comes stuffed uh, back into your, uh, what happens, your uh, inventory actually. So every operation can be totally uh, what happens are done. So this is one such example of this now. Fine. <laughs> so engraving supplier will now send AS and ASBN, indicating that what happens, he has dispatched the cabinets to the spray painter now. He has uh, given it to the spray painter. So this is how it is. Fine. Here now going to go there. Let us now go and then create a, what happens is supplier now. <laughs> fine. 
So XX uh, metals engravers. So I'll now use 44 for this now fine. I'll now take a copy and go there. So here go there. We'll now go to the purchasing now fine. Switch responsibility to purchasing now. <coughs> Let's go and get a supply via supplier now. So I will now use 44 for now. Fine. A new supplier I'm going to create it now. And then since he is taking pains in uh, dispatching it, fine. The engraver is in uh, what happens in uh, Bangalore, and then uh, what happens uh, the other one is in Hyderabad. So since after he completes his job, he is going to dispatch to the next supplier. We will now enable ER is also via now. So that what happens uh, the what's called uh, the system automatically creates what yeah, uh, invoice for him now. So ER is normally enabled uh, to boost him basically. Fine. No, click on create. Now. Will not delay the payment actually. So click on create. So that is how it works actually. <clears throat> So let us go and then create a supplier actually. So supplier creation has not been taken for a long time. So this is not taking a long time for that. Forms to open up now. Go there. So it's a 44. Fine. Go to the engraver. Go there. Go tap. Now see the sheet also. So what happens? I will not say metal engraver. Engraver. I will not put the engraver. Fine. Click on apply now. I will not go to create an engraver. And everything will be in 44 now. <coughs> so create a new organization now. So we'll have two suppliers. One is an engraver and then one is a spray painter as a supplier actually. So go there, click on save now. So after having saved it, what happens? You go down and then go there, click on the payment details. Then what happens? It can be auto pushed into the payables area. <coughs> click on payment details and then here, what happens? You can now make one of the payment methods as a one. Fine, go there, make the check as a default payment. Fine, click on save now. <coughs> and then here, go to the address book and then let us create address now. And click on create now. I will now create an address now. So go there, it is what ADDR01. <clears throat> so I will now go there and then I will now mark the site as what uh, engrave site. Engrave site one and go there. Is the engraver actually fine? Click on what I must continue. It will not throw an error now and then accept the error and then go back to the next one where multi org access control is involved now. <coughs> so click on continue again, right? Because the data quality management is not throwing error because state county city is not there. Fine. Click on enable and then click on apply by which is not done now. We can even enable what happens as an I supplier also. <coughs> you go down and then you go to the purchasing and then you know enable ERS. Normally, ERS is enabled. Because he takes the pains of what happens, uh, dispatching it to the next person, next uh, uh, what happens, uh, collaborator actually. He's a collaborator. And then uh, what happens, he go there and then go to the purchasing. And then we know enable self billing. Go there, self billing. <clears throat> so here, what happens, I'm going to make it as a pay on receipt. And then what happens, it will be a summary level. Now. Is it, is it, or it's called an, an, an GR now. On the GR level, we are summarizing. And click on save now. On every GR, we are going to. Honoring with the auto, automatic invoice creation. I don't know. I close it. And then here, automatic, automatic. Now create one more automatic supplier called what? Uh, uh, spray painter now. So click on this and then go to this place. Go to the supplier supply base. And then create a spray painter now. And he's an engraver. Click on create. And then what happens is 44 <clears throat> underscore spray underscore painter. Spray painter. Fine. Click on apply now. We know there. Now click on create new organization now. 
you can click on see <clears throat> and then go down and then go to the payment details and then make one of them as a check payment as a default now. So make the check payment as a default and click on save now. And then afterwards what go to the address book and then click on create now. It is address four. And then I'll now say what happens that spray spray site two. So my, my spraying site when go there. Enable it and then click on continue. <clears throat> Click on continue again and then enable the multi access control and go there. Click on apply. So, by which one happens? The second supply is also created. So, we have the 44 uh, engraver and then second supply is a spray painter. And go there. Click on close. Now, what happens if we are not done it? And go there. We will now, what happens if the supply is not created? <coughs> I will now create a location called what? 44 Hyderabad. And go there. So, let us now go on and create a location. So, I am in purchasing. You switch the spawn to what happens? Manufacturing now. So manufacturing, I go there, go to the inventory, fine. set up organization location. So we are now going to create a location called Hyderabad now, 44 location. And then afterwards, what happens? <clears throat> so we'll now create a location and then what happens? The second location is Bangalore. And then what happens? We'll now create an OSP department. Fine. OSP department. So the supplier will be basically represented by a OSP department actually. Fine. OSP department. It is not our department. It is his facilities are what happens? Are logically represented as a department. Similarly, what happens? The spray painter will also be logically represented as a department. Then afterwards, what happens? I'll be creating a, what happens an item. <clears throat> no, see, this is still coming. We'll go there. We will now be creating as a finished good. Fine. The cabinet on which what happens? These people are going to work now. On the cabinet, the engraver will be engraving what happens everything. And then what happens? The finished goods, what happens on that? Afterwards, it will be supplied from Hyderabad. It will now supply to Bangalore. The spray painter will not do the spray painting. So what happens on the cabinet? So cabinet is a finished good. And then what happens? We will now create an engraving OSP operation. It is outside closing item. So OSP item is an engraving is OSP item, but the units of measures is each, and then I will now give a unit price is two now. <coughs> the unit price is two is D. <coughs> and then what happens on the when you go to the OSP item, what happens? We will now make the unit as an assembly now. That means what the engrave is charging for per piece now. <coughs> for any put writing or writing on it, what happens per as a per cabinet is not charging it. So what happens? OSP item unit type is assembly. <coughs> And then for the next one, for the paint one, what happens? We are going to create an item with an outside closing unit with the units of metal is kg now. And then unit price is 10D, fine. Now kilogram, one kilogram is 10D. And then what happens? He is now charging per kilo of paint, actually. Let us say he is now going to spray silver paint or something like that. So silver paint is very expensive. And so what happens? He will not charge per cabinet, but per kilo of silver paint, actually. So for which what happens? The OSP unit type will be resource now. If it is a resource, what happens? It will be charged on a kg basis and not on a pH basis. On the on the finished good, what happens? It will not be charged. So if it is going to be a kg, what happens? It will be charged on a this thing. Then afterwards, what happens? Resources are all of us follow. So I don't know why it's taking a longer time. So I'm now explain this in the meantime. Now I'm not taking a longer time. Now. I'm go there. So here, what happens? I will not make the resources now. Fine. Engrave is a resource. Engrave is a resource with a each, and then what happens? It will be having a PO more. So if it is going to be a POMO, upon completion of engravement, what happens? It will be automatically moving into the next uh, uh, operation, basically. And then this is the OSP item. We are going to have it now. Fine. OSP item is on. And then cost is yes now. Fine. I, have not, uh, I will not put a pending cost of what happens $5. So here, what happens? The items cost, <coughs> fine. If you see the engraving item, engraving's item cost is only $2 US dollars. Whereas in the resource, in the engraved resource, what happens? The cost is going to be $5. I'm purposely making a difference now. In reality, what happens? The prices will be slightly different always. <clears throat> there will be some difference in the prices basically. So OSP item and then the OSP resource, there will be a small difference on this. <clears throat> I'm now just exaggerating it to have what happens a bigger uh, value basically. Similarly, paint is also what happens another resource. <clears throat> and then here what happens will be in kg, the POMO. And then what happens? We are going to associate the POSP item. Fine, go there. Here what happens? The, uh, the paint is going to cost 10 k 10 k 10 usd per kg actually because since this is going to be a resource more on and then here what happens on this paint what happens i'm making again a difference now so what happens the purchase price variance will be hit upon job completion actually <clears throat> and then what happens the time elapsed what happens i'm going to have it now fine for e time what happens let us say he's going to take uh, a one day and then this price this one is going to take a two days time so let us say on a lot based i'm going to make it now fine i'll now make it as a lot based so that what happens the time will be done fine now what happens i'll now create a routing for the cabinet as parent and then with the two operations of engraving and painting and all, fine. here engraving will not take 24 hours <coughs> and then this will not take 40 hours <coughs> this is how i'm going to make it now the location is not coming i don't know why it's so <coughs> 
just taken so much of our time now. <coughs> Go there. Let us now close it and then again bring it down. Let me close it. And then again, um, come over here and then see the song. The manufacturing OSP uh, manufacturing collaboration is now in the order of the day. Now every company is now switching over to this one. They feel that it's very difficult to do the manufacturing at their own works basically. Uh, apart from money being spent, fine. What happens? Uh, the headache is uh, too much. That is the biggest problem for that. Whenever you manufacture a product of hundred rupees, what happens? Uh, the manufacturing cost will be ten rupees for you. The remaining ninety rupees are being shared by what? You are a you are a state wise Andhra distributor. Then afterwards, what happens? There is a Hyderabad small level distributor, and then Vijayawada there will be small distributors. So distributors will be having a hierarchy, and then afterwards, what happens? It will be going to the retailers, and then what happens? Some middleman or whatever it is, and then everybody will now eat away money, and then finally, when it reaches the customer, he has to pay hundred rupees now. For the MRP, what happens if you split the cost? Manufacturing cost only will be the will be only ten now actually. So the remaining are all going as a what happens? For the marketing expenses, what happens? Uh, we have to spend a lot of money on this now. Fine. So, so many money is going. So, if you outsource it, what happens? Instead of ten, it may be twenty actually. Fine. So, manufacturing says okay, and that extra money is okay. Fine. The headache is over for us now. So that's why what happens? Uh, they see that what happens? Uh, they go for OSP operation actually. <clears throat> that is not uh, coming up like anything in everywhere. So, go to the inventory. Go to the setup organization location now. So the location form was not opening previously. But it was a wait for 15 seconds, otherwise I will not use an existing location now. But we need a location actually. Fine. We need uh, what happens uh, for this exercise. Uh, we need a clear location here now. Fine. We need two such locations now. Because what happens? Uh, uh, the system has to send it to the appropriate location actually. Fine. It has to send it to the appropriate location now. Okay, let it come in the meantime. What happens? You now see the screenshots now. So here, what happens? I am now creating the locations. Two locations here is uh, all done in eleven a actually. Fine, long, long ago. Once upon a time, I made it now. So we not done it. Fine, uh, it's okay. Uh, These are all eleven a actually. Eleven a activity. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? The locations and then afterwards, uh, what happens? I now create. What I'm creating it here now. Fine. Create a supplier. I'm not creating a supplier here. Fine. Basically, we uh, will not refer this one. Fine. But since uh, we know the main ones, what happens? We'll be going directly with that now. Fine. We'll be very. You can now read all blah blah. Basically, so much of a uh, explanation would have been written now. Fine. Once upon a time, some ten years back or something like that, I made it. I'm not sure about it, and I made it now. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> so. Uh, it's on the 11 I can also have a glimpse of the 11 screens actually. Fine. So as per the cost type, what happens, I'm going to do it now. I'll go there and I'll see this now. <coughs> so what happens, we have to have XX E time as an uncosted resource now. Fine, there's not having any cost actually. So the P time, the uh, what happens, the painting time and then the engraving time will not have any costing actually involved. <coughs> But since it is going to take time, what happens? It will be on a hour basis, and then what happens? We'll be doing it now, and then we'll be associating the engraving resource as well as what happens your time as one of the things, and then it's only paint and paint too. Fine, two such things will be associated on this now. Fine, as the resources on every operation, every department, and every department. What happens? We'll be having two resources now, basically. This is an uncosted resource, and then it's going to consume time. Whereas what happens? The engraving is since it is in each, what happens? It will not consume any time at all. Fine. This will not take care of the time. Fine. And similarly, paint will be in kg. And it is a non time based unit separation, and so it will not take any time. So, only the what happens the E time will be taking time actually. The E time will be taking time, and then they will be coming over here now. Fine, what else? <clears throat> and then finally, what happens the cabinet is now having all these things now. <clears throat> so, that is what I have written now. And both the departments have been done now. Oh, God. <clears throat> I need two departments basically, two locations actually. <laughs> I'm always saying that the location form uh, sometimes takes a longer time actually for me to come. 
what exactly is the problem i'm not exactly aware of it so what happens when you move it what happens we, the system creates a, what happens a requisition automatically the rec import program automatically runs once when you what happens release the job so once when you release the job what happens the rec import will be running now so uh, we have one control there that what happens when you wanted to release all the uh, all the what happens the requisitions basically so at the time of what happens operations or at the time of a start itself now. so that we can decide now as a vip parameter in the vip parameter what happens we cannot decide we can now create both the requisitions both the purchase orders requisitions will be created and then there will be converted to purchase order now so we can now create both the requisitions at the time of release itself if the time taken is going to be huge let us say engraver is going to take some 15 days time and then afterwards what happens uh, the uh, the spray painter will not take another 10 days time let us say if there is a case what happens we will know once when it goes upon releasing what happens only the engraver purchase order will be made so once when he ships it to the other place other way only what happens you will be creating the next purchase order actually. so but normally people don't do like that now fine they release the purchase order now itself so at the time of operation release itself what happens both the purchase orders are created and then what happens we will now uh, uh, indicate to them that what happens only when the job only when the cabinet comes to the spray painter he will be able to start the activity actually. so he will be paid only upon what happens the supply so the purchase order will be there only now basically so that's how what happens it happens now basically So location is a very important one. It is a nothing but a supplier's facility actually. Fine, if you see this now, so the location is basically the supplier's facility. Okay, jump. You can have a look at it now. Fine, it's a supplier's facility actually. So here, yeah, location is what? It is a supplier's uh, location actually. And then the department is nothing but a logical department now. Fine, there's a logical department of the engraver, and this is the logical department of the what's called a spray painter actually. Fine, what is? And then the, it has to be housed in the appropriate locations actually. <clears throat> so what happens here what happens you know see there what's called there is one more thing fine go there and then uh, there what happens you know enable one standard costing also fine uh, engraver outside costing unit unit drives and then unit of assembly uh, we have to enable the standard cost also i have now forgotten to tell you here actually uh, yeah standard cost so paint what happens when you are creating the resource when you're creating the resource what happens I am now going to engraving. What happens? Will the standard cost is going to be no, no. Fine, will be no. And then the paint will be having the standard rate as the yes, no. Fine. So it depends upon how you want to charge. You want to charge as what? As per the what happens? The resource cost or otherwise as the OSP item cost. Fine. It is basically for what? The resource is going to be used for costing or otherwise what happens? The OSP item will be used for costing. So this time, I think I forgot that I think probably what happens if it is yes, what happens uh, the paint will be costed at twelve dollars and not at ten dollars. Whereas if it is no, what happens it will be costed at the items price actually. It is not will not be five dollars will not be used. What happens it will be item item cost. But when you roll up, what happens always the resource cost will be loaded up right? for one assembly. What happens uh, let us say I'm going to complete let us say uh, with the twelve dollars one kg of paint I'm going to use uh, let us say uh, five five cabinets can be painted now. Right? You're going to have five cabinets getting painted. So if five cabinets have been hit, what happens for every cabinet, the money spent is 2.4 as far as the resource is concerned. So in such cases, what happens, you'll be using the inverse, okay. Inverse will be used over here now, fine. <clears throat> the inverse will be used, fine. Oh God, it's taking a long time. So I now use the existing location, so fine, that's the best one, fine. I don't know why it's not come now. Not come at all. <clears throat> So let me use the existing location from and go there. Close it now. It will also go away. When I, when I close it, whatever, this also will go away. And I will, oh, not coming at all. I'm going to close it now. And then let me again go there. So let me use the existing location now. Then do it now. Since is no developing problems actually. <clears throat> what happened? It is not proceeding further at all. Click on the payments invoice now. It has to be the next step. Go there. There is no log out and login now.
<clears throat> so let me re-log in and then do this operation. Fine, let me use the two such locations for this now. Let me make a notepad. Use whatever the situated whatever is. We are using the existing locations now. The home page is not taking a longer time to come now. <laughs> Some issues, really. Over there, click on it now and click on the payables invoice now. Yeah, it's just going now. I'm going over there, click on that now. I will not use uh, two such locations now. <clears throat> Existing locations, I will not use it now. <clears throat> Many companies are using it, and I'm going to show you both the variants to it as far as the costing is concerned, as far as the other ones also concerned. Now. So let us go there and then create the items now. Fine, go there, close it, and then let us now go to the manufacturing and then create the items now. So three items I'm going to create now. Go to the inventory, go to the items, and then go to the master items. And the M1R. Let us now create three items now. M1R. So let us go and then get the items now. So what happens is uh, the item is what? Uh, 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 this 44 PC cabinet. Fine, what is now taking copy of it and then go there. <clears throat> Let's paste it now. Right? I'll now change it to 44 now. It's a PC cabinet. I'll now go there, apply it. It's a finished wood template, man. Under both fin, and then you tap. It's a finished wood template now. So it's a FG now. Fine, finished wood template. I'm applying it now. Go there, click on done now. After having done this, what happens? I'll now say what happens. I'll now go there. It'll not have any costing. Fine, doesn't matter. Fine, go there and then come in. Commit. So it's FG 44 PC cabinet is an FG. So we are creating the item now, and then let us assign it when Alt U, and then assign it to the R now. Go back one level, <clears throat> and then we go there. And the next is what we are going to have XX engrave OSP item one now. And this is what I'm going to create now. Go there, take copy of it, and then Control Down arrow, paste it over here now. Fine. <clears throat> engrave OSP item. Go there. So the template is what at the outside, at the outside closing item. We had to apply the outside closing item template now by the OSP item. I click on done now. Not done. After having done this, what happens? Go there. Unit submitter is each now. Each is the unit submitters. I go there. Unit price is going to be two, and then what happens? The OSP item type is assembly. Is assembly. I go to the purchasing. Here, what happens? The uh, what's called? If you go to the purchasing, it becomes a mandatory field when you apply a OSP item. I go there. So it's assembly, and then I'm going to charge two rupees now. So here also what happens, uh, since I'm now going to have what happens, uh, this one as a standard cost is no, it will be charged as per the, what happens, in great, or as per the OSP items cost. Now. The cost will be as per the OSP item cost. Now, come on now and go there. So in you know, the assembly and then two dollars, fine, the second item is now created, fine, go there. And then I will now assign it, fine, go there, Alt T go, and then assign it. Go back, and then give a control down arrow, and then now go there, and then go the next one now, fine, this is the uh, XX, what happens the paint one now and take a copy of it now and then go there and then paste it over here now. Fine. It is a paint <coughs> fine uh, uh, painting or no say painting and go there apply the same OSP offset okay and go there and then afterwards you go to the purchasing here as per the resource we are going to charge it is a type is no resource and go there there's a resource now and then it is now going to be costing ten dollars per kg and go there ten kg so you go to the main area and then before committing it what happens you now make a change to kilograms and kilogram i'll now make it find this kilogram so kilogram weight i'm going to make it not mouse so this is now this osp item is now having the unit submitted as kilogram 
and then here what happens is we go to cost ten dollars. But what happens? We are not going to use this cost. We'll be using only the what happens? The resource cost because the standard cost is just there. So it's a resource. The OSP. So when you say resource, what happens? The PC will not be charged. It will be charged only after the as the paints cost only. And then it's coming. The resource and go there. All TO and then assign it over here. And let's come in. So all the three items are now created and go there. Let us now go and then create a department now. First of all, you know, there are two departments we have to create now. One the engraving department, one is the painting department. Fine. They are all nothing but suppliers facility, which are now logically represented over here now. Fine. Go to the bill of materials, go to the routings, and then go to the departments. We will now create the departments over here now. <clears throat> Fine. Department is what? 44 underscore E underscore DPT1. I'm putting it now. And then I will now put one location now. Fine. It is a delay. I will now make a mark now, fine. Right? I will now say, Adelaide is what? Engraving. Engraving department. And go there. Uh, Adelaide department. And location of the given, fine. Catalyst coming. Adelaide is engraving department. Fine. Click on the resource. I am not going to house the resources now. Fine. Click on it. So, resource is what? I have not created any resource at all. No? So, I will create a resource and then come over here now, fine. Right? So, let us go and then create the resources now, fine. Go to the resources. Let us now create all the four resources now. Fine. All the four resources we are going to create. Fine. It's an engraved resource now. Fine. Go there. Uh, I will now create all the four resources. <clears throat> so go to the resources. Here what happens? 44 underscore engrave. Engrave resources. Fine. I will now take copy away. And then what happens? Put in the description now. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> so it's a PO move and then each. Now. Fine. It's a miscellaneous each and PO move. Fine. What else? So you go there. Whenever what happens, it is a, not a person or a, what happens, a, a, a amount or mission or whatever it is, then it will be miscellaneous. So normally OSP ones will always be uh, here. It's a each now. Each means what? It will not consume any time as such. Now fine, go there. I will not go there. Discrete one of each now. Fine, go there. And then enable the OSP item. Fine, go there. I will now put 44 percentage and then give an engraving. Okay. Fine, engraving item. I will not put it over there. Now. Fine, 44. I have not given a 44 or what? what I, oh God, I have not given an excess or what? What is this? Percentage, what happens? ENG percentage and then give a tab. Sorry, <clears throat> percentage ENG percentage and then give a tab. What is that? Oh, I've forgotten to assign it. I think probably cancel it. Go there, go to the window, go to the navigator now. You go to the inventory, go to the items, master items. Query for it now. Fine, 44 percentage ENG percentage and then query it now. 44 percentage and then query it now. 44 PC cabinet is there. Oh God, I have now given as XX, I think, probably. I have now given as XX itself, I think, probably. Oh God, <laughs> I have not changed it at all. And yes, in give, and then I made it as an XX. I had made a change, I have not done much. I will now close it now. Close the form. So, go to the, I will now see whether it is not coming up or not. Go to the XX percentage ENG percentage is on your tab now. Again, that also is not assigned, actually. When I was speaking to it, find so many mistakes I made now. You go to the window and then go to the navigator now. Master items. I don't know, query this now. Fine. XX percentage and then query it now. Fine. Because people used to normally work along with me, it's already assigned now. XX engrave is now assigned now. And go there, oh, it's not coming. I'm again making another mistake, I think. And go there. I will now put EXX percentage and then go tab. And engraving is coming. It's capital E actually. So it's not. So here, what happens? I know the standard rate is not enabled. Also. Fine, the standard rate is not enabled. My engraver was put on, and then I will give the printing cost type as five dollars. Fine, go there, and then go to the rates. And go to it. Fine, it's on a pending cost type. So it's on a pending cost type. Fine, go there. It's five dollars. Remember the resource cost. The what happens? The, the OSP item cost is two dollars. Now I'm now overriding with the five dollars. Fine, go there. Commit. Atlas commit. In order. Okay, it's on a pending cost type. Fine, go there. So. Engrave is now using this engrave OSP item, and then what happens? The rate is now five dollars, and then standard rate is not used at all. Right. No. Next one is what paint I'm going to do. It. I'm going to control down arrow. <clears throat> what happens? I must say. Uh, uh, previously, what it is? I given forty four. Huh? So once again, I'm not query. Fine, it's forty four. Huh? Forty four percentage. I'm going to query it now. So forty four engrave I have given now. I will now use the uh, forty four only. Only for the outside process, what happens? I'll be using the XX actually. So resources are all forty four. Department is 44. Fine, this is okay. Fine, control down arrow. I will now say 44 underscore paint is a resource now. And go there. We'll take a copy of it and then put in the description now. Paste it over here now. So it's a miscellaneous now. 
the way it is. And then here, what happens? Paint is going to be what in kg now. Fine. Again, what happens? It is not in uh, time based basically. Fine. Kg. Fine. Good. Kg. Kilogram. Kilogram. And then I will not put the item. Fine. Go there. It is XX. And then you tap. I'll be using what? The paint one now. Fine. I'll use the paint one over here. Fine. Fine. And then this time, what happens? I'm going to make a standard rate. And then here, the pending cost type will be what? Twelve dollars. So pin dollar. Fine. No. So whatever item gets costed. Fine. Okay. Fine. Now see what happens. So this is a twelve dollars. Fine. Go there. So it's costed and then whatever standard rate is what? This one. <clears throat> so the miscellaneous fine, everything is correct, fine. If you make a mistake, please point out to me and go there and control over. And then what happens? I'll now say engraving time now. Engraving time is a one. So here what happens? I will now have hours now. Fine. It needs what happens. You have to account for this now, fine. It is not costed, and then it is an uncosted resource basically. Fine. It's only going to take time. Actually. Engraving time, fine. Go there and just commit. And then similarly, go once again. Uh, please enter the value for the department segment. What is it? Uh, when you are creating it, why is it asking for it? Here. 24 underscore E time. Go there. I want to take copy it from the department now. Uh, and then what happens? The type is what? Not person basically. Fine. Uh, we'll have to make it as what? Miscellaneous one. Once again, let's see what exactly I do now. Fine. Time, what is miscellaneous hours now? Whip more and then you can go there. So here. What happens? Go there. It is a whip more only. Fine. It is a miscellaneous. I go there and then commit. Okay, let's commit. Please enter the required value for the department segment in the variance account flux field. Oh God. The variance account flux field. How come? Till now it was, it was creating it now actually. <laughs> go there. Query it now. Fine. Go there. No. So 44 percentage and then query it now. Fine. Engrave is now coming properly. Fine. Miscellaneous resources now coming. I go there. So probably what happens is something might have been reset now. Fine. I will go there. I will not go there. Countless. What happens? I'll go there. I will not say e time. Fine. I will not make it as a person resource only. Fine. It is a, what's called a, a hover now. HR hover. I will not straight away come in. Fine. Let's come in. This is also not giving me proper one. Please enter the required. Value for the department segment and the variance account flux field. Variance account flux field. I'm asking for now. How come? If it is going to be miscellaneous, commit. Oh God. There's so many of issues are coming this way. If I go there. So this is already done now. Now go to the BIP and then go to the setups. And then have a look at the parameters now. Setups now. Whip setups and then go to the parameters now. Go to the whip setup parameters. Here go to the outside processing. So here requisition creation is the operation. Fine. What happens? We'll now make it as what? At the job release itself, fine. We'll now make a change. So that what happens will be done and will be approved now. Fine. What is it? Not done. And then control is commit. So at the operation release itself, what happens? Both the requisitions will be created actually. Fine. Inter operation steps are all okay. Everything is okay. Fine. Middle requirement. I will now say stores is a one by default. It will be picking up fine. Supplies have been not to be source actually. More transactions, fine. This is okay. Costing. What happens? The default completion cost is not okay, not required as this one. Repetitive is for me for this one. Discrete, what happens? We have a different class. So, if I'm going to just commit now. We'll now go and then have a look at the, the default class is discrete now. So, any uh, class is required. I'm trying to go there. I'll now go to the big accounting classes and then query the discrete now. So, let us query the discrete now. All the accounts are there actually. <clears throat> The variance accounts are all there basically for each and everything. So the variance account is now say is now miss, missing actually for the discrete job. Go there. You now go to the bill of materials, routings, and then go to the resources now. So what happens? I now say 44 underscore e time. It is basically miscellaneous and then it's hours now. Commit. Oh, it's got committed. Okay, I don't know what is the problem. Control down arrow and then I'll make 44 underscore what happens the P time now. P time is the, what happens the painting time now and make it as miscellaneous, <clears throat> make it as hours now. HR, you tap and then commit. 
so it's all computer now what about the department we are going to make an offer and go to the department now so we already created one department if i go there 44 percentage we are now created a department so the first department is there fine click on the resource i will not put the what happens 44 percentage other good app i will not choose what the engraving fine engrave resource fine and then uh, only for what happens the uh, purposes of uh, academics what happens they're doing it that is what happens the capacity planning model will be using the what happens the units also so 44 percentage what happens i know how eday model fine how what 44 percentage fine 44 percentage and then what happens i know how the e time now and engraving time so these are the ones which are now housed in this one control is commit we'll go back on level and then what happens you know open the next one control down arrow <clears throat> i will now say 44 underscore fine p department department 2 now fine the p department 2 so location what happens i know say percentage i know choose some other location now fine let us say uh, atlanta so i'm not choosing atlanta so what happens <clears throat> Atlanta is for what happens the painting department. Painting department. A painting department is a house in Atlanta. I go there and then commit now. I will now associate the rows over here. Now find 44 percentage. And then what happens the painting resource now? The painting resource now all done. And down arrow 10. And then down arrow. And then 44 percentage. And then get up. And the paint time. So this is going to take care of the timing, which is not going to go for this. Now fine, go there, commit. Fine. Now we have also said everything now. And the record already exists. I'm going to double save or what? I don't know. It should be paint time. Huh? Paint. It should be paint time. <laughs> okay. P time is P percentage time is it. I have to give the paint time actually. P time I have to give it. And go there and then commit. And go there. Close it now. Close it. So the department is not done. We'll now go on and make the routing now. And go there and I make the routing. So when I make a routing, what happens? Create a routing for the cabinet. Fine. With the two operations of engraving and painting. Fine. And then for the engraving, I'm going to take 24 hours. And then for the painting, I'm going to take 40 hours also. Fine. Let us now go on and create the one. And go there. So go to the routings, routings. <clears throat> Fine. It is basically 44 percent. Finished goods, I have given only 44, I think. Finish what I given only for the uh, excess, only for the same. Then now go there. Click on the department. So department is 44 percentage. Then you tap. I will not choose what the engraving department, E department. In the E department, what happens? They go to the operation resources. We'll have two resources now. Fine. Then I go there. And then 44 percentage. Then you tap. So I will not get the engrave one. What happens? I will not go there. So here, what happens? I'm not going to have usage is one. Now. My usage is one. Now. And then go there. 20th one. Go there. 20th one. And then here, what happens? I will not say 44 percentage. I will not have the engraving time now. Engraving time here, what happens? I'm going to take hours. I will not say usage is 24 hours, now. so it takes 24 hours to do it. So go to the scheduling, and then here, what happens? The scheduling has to be made as yes. Now, first one will not be scheduled, the second time will be scheduled actually. Fine, go there and then commit now. Until it's commit, it's not happening. And then next one, what happens? There only the inverse will come into picture now. You know, see the inverse will be coming into picture. Fine, go there. 20th one, go there. It is a 44 percentage paint department. Now. Fine, paint department. The paint department go there, click on the operation resource and go there. Sequence number 10 is there and go there. So, resource is what 44 percent paint resource. Fine, choose the paint resource. And then, here with one kg of paint, I can now do five numbers of FG now. So, in which case, what happens? The five numbers has to be put on this place inverse. If you put it and then give a back tap, the usage will be calculated automatically. Mainly because what happens, let us say with one kilo of paint, I am now going to do seven uh, cabinet painting. So what happens? You have to say seven over here, and then give a back tap. It now exactly calculate what is the fraction of it. So you, this is not possible for us to directly create. So only for a, what happens? The OSP resource, the inverse is used actually. So when you use the inverse, so with one kg of paint, we can now cab. You can complete what happens? Seven cabinets, then put on the inverse, and then the usage of paint will be automatically shown for every cabinet actually. Fine. So this is what does. So there we'll be using it now. Fine, go there now. We'll now say five cabinets. So what happens? We'll now need 0.2 kilos per cabinet actually. So this. You go there, scheduling is actually no. Fine, go there and then put on the next one now. Fine, next one is 20th one. Fine, go there. And then 44 percentage. And then give it tap. So it's again what happens? The painting time over here now. So here what happens? It'll be 48 hours now. So it takes two days now. Fine. And then what happens? I'll now make it as a lot base now. So I'll now make it as a lot base. Previous also I'll now make it as a lot base. So irrespective of the number of FGs being pumped in, what happens? He takes a constant time now. That's it. So the resource is basically item, and then I'm overriding the basis to lot on the uh, the routing now. Fine, what is so not there also what happens? You now make a change now. Fine, go there. In the previous one, what happens? They go there. So as per the resource, it is item based. Fine, go there, and then here what happens? I'll make a change to lot based. So what happens? It will be a constant time, <clears throat> irrespective of the number of FGs being pumped in. Now. Fine, so it's a lot based. Fine, go there. So both the things are now complete now. Fine, go there. 
it's all complete close it now so uh, what happens it don't go there once when the assembly is ready what happens you're not going to supply any material for this now fine uh, supply material if you are going to supply materials also what happens we have to go there and then the pc will be supplied along with the first one so we have to put the non charge the pc also fine so i'm not going any billing at all fine go there i will not roll up the cost now fine i will not click on the roll up cost on the pending cost up i'm going to roll it now pending i'm going to roll up fine click on okay now so we are now rolling up the pending cost have a look at the costing now have a look at the costing <clears throat> so supply chain cost roll up so when you roll up what happens it will always be rolling as per the what's called your uh, uh, your routing cost only not on the osp items cost it will never roll it up fine it is supposed to be same no? fine osp item cost and then the routing cost are almost same but what happens over a period of time what happens it will not keep on changing and so the difference will be hitting the ppv and so naturally what happens the cost managers will now adjust the cost of the osp items basically fine what is so go there the roll up is now there fine click on the view output of it now So if you use output, what happens? You cannot see the output coming up. So here, what happens? It says what it is seven point four now. Fine. So uh, let us say the OSP uh, resource for the engraving is now costing you what happens? It is costing you five dollars. And then what happens for the resource? It is now uh, what happens? Two point four now <clears throat> because it is twelve now. Fine. So twelve means what? Twelve uh, uh, by uh, how come it has come as two point four here? I couldn't understand this one. One second. Go oh, there. Minimize it now. So that you know, this is now. So per piece, I need only point two. So okay, point two means what? One fifth of uh, what happens? The twelve dollars now. Twelve uh, by five is how much? Okay, twelve by five two and then two point four correct here. So twelve by five is two point four. So what happens? We are now spending what happens? The two point four per uh, piece actually per piece. And so what happens? The total cost incurred is also approximately seven point four as per this. So the pending cost is now coming as five. So five plus two point five. Fine, that is what. Is it clear now? So it's five plus. So twelve dollars, and then what happens? It is per cabinet. We are now spending point two kilo. So twelve divided by five is two point four actually. So the cost is now come reported cost is wrong. You now reported fine. Go there, and then now what happens? We now what happens? Update the cost so that what happens? The standard the standard cost will become seven point four. So seven point four is the assembly cost. Fine, go there. Let us now update the cost. Fine, go there. Close it now. Uh, I will now go to the tools, and then what happens? You go to the computer types. You run it, and then afterwards what happens? You roll it up also. For <coughs> the tools, and then afterwards what happens? You roll up the dip, compute and roll up. Right. Now what happens? For the first one, it will not take one day, and then the second one it will not take a two days. If you go to the inventory, and then go to the items, <coughs> and then go to the items, and then go to the organization items, now we can see what happens. This will only be coming. Fine. Go there. Forty-four <coughs> percentage. Fine. Forty-four percentage, and then you have finished with your busy cabinet. Fine. Click on find now. Now we can see the total time taken. Fine. Go to the lead time management. Click on the lead time management. Fine, it will be three days actually. Fine, fixed. Uh, what happens? Processing lead time is one. I think the concurrent is running or what? Because we already done that. What happens? Everything is now completed now. So for the first one, it has to take one day, and then second one, it has to take two days now. Fine, the total processing time must be three days actually. Fine, go to the organization items. Fine, forty-four percentage is on your tab. Click on find now. Go there. Go to the lead times now. How come it is becoming as one now? Well, the second unit's time is not taken as such. Oh God, I made a mistake. Yes, I made a mistake. Fine, go there. I made a mistake. Yep, fine, go there. Go to the bill of materials. Go to the routings and then go to the routings now. So let us now query this now. Fine, go to the query mode. Fine, forty-four percentage. Let me query it now. So here I made a mistake here. <clears throat> For the second one, what happens? I have not made the scheduling as yes now. The scheduling has to be made as yes now. That is why I have not made the scheduling as. I go there. Commit now. So uh, the P time has to take the first one. I have made it. Second one, I have not made it. Fine, go there. Now let us there. Go to the tools and then go to the compute lead times as well as the roll up the lead times. Wait for some time and then afterwards roll it up now. Fine. So wait for the compute lead time and then afterwards what happens? You are rolling up the lead time. You know what I mean? Now what happens? You go there and see this now. You go to the item inventory items. <clears throat> go to the organization items and then query the item now. Fine. It is forty-four percentage. Then give it up. Fine. Click on find now. It will be three days actually. You go there. Go to the lead times. What happens? It will be three days. So this can be exactly done as per the now. Fine. This case is not three days. The processing lead time is not three days. There is no variable lead time at all. Fine. What else? <clears throat> go there. Close it now. Uh, go there. So this is also done. So remember, seven point four the cost. Fine. Five dollars for the engraving, and then two point four per PC, per PC cabinet. What happens for the engraving? Fine. For the painting actually. Fine. Close it. It's all done now. Now what happens? We'll now go and then create a job now. We will now go on and get a job. Fine, go there. So let us now go on and get a job. Fine, the bill is now ready. Fine, go to the whip. 
and then here what happens we are now given what displays on the setups now fine if you go to the setups we are already given what on the parameters we are now going to go for the osp operation on the osp operation what happens the requisition creation time is at the job schedule release upon release what happens both the uh, requisitions will be what about rec import will be running now we'll go there so we'll now go there go to the whip now and then here what happens you go there go to the discrete and then go to the discrete job so let me create a new job now click on new now i'll be getting a new job i'll now say 44 underscore job one now i'm getting it and then assembly is what 44 percentage and then there's only pc cabinet fine no bill is existing doesn't matter fine uh, it's okay fine <coughs> go there so here no bill is existing but routing is there so we can very well do the move operations now fine is released now then release and then i will now say 10 quantities i'm going to manage i'm going to do it i'm going to start date fine. Until I'm, going to <coughs> I'm going there completion date you leave it as well. now i'm going there you are us <coughs> because it's not taking time it'll not take automatically i go to the completion sub inventory is not stores now. fine go there stores fine if you release it automatically you now see the rec import will be running automatically now fine control s commit requisition import will be automatically coming because the <coughs> the osp is requisition will be done and go there and then have a look at it now so the concurrent what happens it has to run automatically oh god it is not running <laughs> the rec import has to run automatically actually it's now released when it is in the queue operation itself what happens it has to it has to go now oh god why what is the mistake here <clears throat> somewhere some mistake rec input has to run now so everything is now there fine they're all oh god another mistake i made the charge tape is po move have i made as a po move now fine. i will now make a check it must be po move now fine. if it is not po move it will not work at all fine go there close it now now go there. Go to the bill of materials. Go to the routing. So then go to the resources now. Fine. Go to the routing. Go to the resources. I think I made a mistake there. Forty-four percentage. And then it has to be PO move now. Fine. Engrave must be not. What happens? It is not a VIP move. It is a PO move now. It doesn't matter. Fine. Go to the commit. And then similarly, what happens? This also fine. Down arrow. <clears throat> and then paint also must be PO move now. Only when a PO move, what happens? It is done. Fine. Go there. So I made a modification here now. <clears throat> We'll now go on and make a check on this. What happens? The routings also. Fine. Go to the bill of materials. Go to the routings. And then go to the routings now. And then let us now query it now. Fine. Go there. 44 percentage. And then query it now. And then the first one. What happens? You go to the resources. And then you go to the costing area. And then make a change to what? Pure more now. So here itself also we can make a change now. And the, on the other one, what other, you can even make a change. You can, you can override it actually. Fine. The pure move. Fine. Close it now. And then on the next one also, what happens? You go there. And then we have to go to the costing and then make a change to pure more. <laughs> So on the routing, we can do it now. Fine. What is now? Uh, it's all PO move. Only only changes required. Fine. We'll now create another job now. We'll go there. We'll go to the whip. Go to the discrete. And then go to the discrete jobs. Let me create one more job now. I'll click on new now. Forty-four underscore job two. I'm going to make it now. Fine. Assembly is the same assembly. Forty-four percentage is going to tab. Click on it now. I will now release it now. So ten quantities. Give a start date. Conclude later and go there. And then here, go to the routing. So then, give the supplementary fine. Go there. Commit now. Fine. As soon as you commit, we have to find the PO. Rec import has to run now. Fine. Go there and see now. Fine. Bandichi. We got it. Now. So both the requisition imports are running now. Fine. It must be PO. Now. Now, this requisition report is coming. Now, what about you go there and then see this now? Fine, go there. Now, uh, if you go and then see the job, the job will be in queue now. Fine, if you go there, you go to the whip now. Go to the whip and then go to the discrete and then go to the discrete job now. In the discrete job, if you go and then see this now, fine, 44 percentage. Upon release, what happens? It will be in queue now. Fine, click on fine now. So, you go to the operations and then see the quantities actually. In the operations, what happens? See the quantities now. So, it's in the queue now. 10 are in queue. Now, what happens? Engraver is going to do what? He yeah, performance now. He is now going to engrave it now. Fine. He is now going to engrave it. And then what happens? He will now <coughs> send it to the spray painter actually. He has to spread it to the spray painter. So what happens? You can now see what happens? The engraver's department. Fine. The engraver's department is in Adelaide. Fine. The location will now what happens? Light -light. He will be sending it to Atlanta actually. Fine. So we will now first of all get a purchase order. In the purchase order, we can now see what happens. We will be sending it to Adelaide actually. Fine. The dispatch location will be Adelaide, and then from there, the second purchase order will be for Atlanta location, and that is the second supplier's location actually. And go there, so, so go there, close it now, and go there, close it. And now, what happens? We go and then watch it now. 
Go there. Go there. Acquisition report. Or role complete. Now fine. Go there. Now see whether it has now created the thing or not. Fine. Okay. Number of approved requisition created is two. Now fine. The first one itself will be doing. Second one will not show anything at all. If you go there and see the second one, it will not show anything at all. Fine. Second one will not show anything at all. Fine. Your code will not show anything because the first itself has created. Fine. Or everything is not created. Now we go there and then convert the requisitions into PO now. Fine. Go there. We'll now go to the purchasing now. Fine. Go there. Go to the purchasing and then go to the requisitions and then go to the requisition summary. And then let us now query on the what is called the OSP item now. We are now going to query on the OSP item. There is an engraving OSP item. I'm going to query now. Fine, go there. It is the XX percentage e, uh, capital E. Capital E percentage when you have so the item. So if you query it now, fine, click on fine. So you'll be having one approved requisition coming up now. So let us now auto create it to your purchase order now. So go there. So this is the one. So this is the requisition number now. Fine. We take a copy of it now. And then what happens? Convert it into your purchase order. Fine. The price is too fine. Here, what happens? The uh, uh, what's called the resource price is not coming. Only the OSP items price is coming. Fine. OSP items price is coming, and not the resource price. Resource price is five dollars, whereas OSP items price is two dollars. When you're creating requisition, only on the OSP items cost will be coming. And go there, close it now, <coughs> and then go there. It will now go to what auto grade area. It will now go to the purchasing, and then go to the auto grade area, and then convert the requisition into a PO now. Auto grade purchase order. Fine. Go there. It will now clear everything. And go there. Requisition number. And paste it over here now. And go there. So click on find now. <clears throat> and go there. And now select it. And then what happens? We automatically create a purchase order. And click on automatic purchase order. So what happens? The supplier is what engraver now. Find the XX percentage. And then give it a well, not. It is 44 percentage. Fine. You know, given this 44 percentage. So I am not going to give engraver to the supplier now. Fine. I will not put a supplier. And then click on create now. So for which what happens? The purchase order is not created. And then he has to send it to Atlanta now. Fine. But organization is only M1. But what happens? The dispatch location is Atlanta. Because for accounting purposes, what happens? The organization is M1, but the location will be Atlanta. There is next person's one now. Fine. So that will be showing you the next person's one. The purchase order will be showing you the uh, next person's location actually. So the purchase order is now getting created. Ship to location will be Atlanta and not M1 Seattle Manufacturing. Even though it's our controlling authority is the organization, but what happens? The dispatch location is the, the second OSP supplier's location actually. So the moment you make a result, what happens? The assembly will auto move now because of the PO move. So as soon as you make a result, what happens? The assembly will be auto moving into the next location actually. And so remember what happens? This has to be a direct result now. It should not be a standard inspection because we are not paying any inspection on this. No, why? So the type is an outside processing one. Fine. This is the item. Fine. This is a purchase order. If you go to the shipments, if you go to the shipments, what happens? They can now see M1 organization Atlanta location. If the shipment, what happens? They can now see M1 organization's Atlanta location becoming fine. It's Atlanta location because it's the next uh, OSP supplier's location. But controlling organization is this. And go to the receiving and then see it that is direct delivery. Fine. Look and okay. Fine. Look and okay. And then here, what happens? 6745. And this is the incomplete state fine. It's gonna approve now. Click on approve. <clears throat> Click on OK. Now, as soon as you receive, what happens? It will be going into a pending move transaction. That is where what happens? It will be coming over there now, fine. And then what happens? It will be remaining there for some time, and then afterwards it will be going away now. It will be a pending move transaction now fine, upon making a receipt now. We are now making a logical receipt into our system now. Fine. We are now making a logical receipt. So it must be what happens an expense of inventory because we are not receiving the assembly directly from Hyderabad. So from Hyderabad, the assembly is moving to move to this thing. 6745, I am now going to make a logical receipt. Receive it on an expense of inventory. Fine, it is approved now. Fine, let us go there and receive it. 6745. And then here, what happens if you go on and see? Once again, I'll close, close the here what happens? It will be over, go to the VIP. And then here what happens, you go there, you go to the what's called move transaction. And then here, the pending move transaction will be coming into picture as long as what happens, the PO move is now executed now. Fine. Right? Right? And then here what happens, on the uh, job schedule, fine, I will now say 44th percentage. Then you would have second job, no? second job. I will not query it, I will not keep it ready now, fine, go there. So when you query it, what happens, it will be as a pending move. Fine, go there, go to the window, and then let me make a receipt now. And we are now making a logical receipt now, fine. You go to the purchasing, go to the receiving, and then go to the receipts. We are now performing a logical receipt of this now. Click on this receipt, fine, go there. Paste it over here, and then give a tab. 6745 is the one. We are pasting it and then find it out. Fine, go click on find now. So the moment, the moment you complete the receipt, 
we have to receive in the expense of you know remember we are not we are not doing our as asset receive because we are not doing physically receiving we are not doing we are only making a logical receipt now when go there and then here what happens the request that everything is coming description everything is coming and then uh, see uh, uh, the location okay it is now shop floor correct correct since it is a shop floor one what happens uh, nothing is required that's right fine, fine no sub inventory is required yes it is a shop floor move isn't it for outside closing it is a shop floor move and so what happens the the sub inventory is not coming at all even if it is a direct delivery for a shop floor what happens the sub inventory will not come for one of the actually right? it's a shop floor so select it and then what happens you move it now now what happens it will not appear on the pending one and go there control commit now what happens we are now making reset fine go there close shop floor there is no need at all fine go there and then here what happens you click on find now so once you find it out what happens you know see what happens pre cost no records is coming click on find <clears throat> we had to wait for the rtp to complete now actually fine the rtp is now running now so once when the rtp gets completed now it is being transacted process gets completed what happens upon completion of it what happens you know see this is a pending move resource <clears throat> i was i forgot that point it will be remaining there for some more time if there is some problem in any of the processing actually as a pending move <clears throat> all done so completed fine close it now and then click on find now no what happens it will be as a pending move now now it's working now it will not show as a pending move transaction now and then afterwards what happens it now pending move when move validation is not pending actually we are waiting for the move validation and uh, i remember that what happens we can even uh, what happens it will now even get struck also here in the source what happens we go there is what is the rcb transaction and right? the operations and then you go to the concurrent request on the job and schedule and all these things so which are all the pending moves which are now there fine right? 44 e department from q to what happens for second department's q does to move now since it is a pu move from Yeah, department one skew to next department move. It has to move now. Fine, there's no pending actually. Fine, of course. And I forgot that there is some reason. What happens? It may even get stuck over here also. The pending move transactions, pending middle transaction, everything will be getting stuck. And then uh, uh, that much of a detail I forgot now actually. I'm trying to go through the manuals. And then uh, if everything is normal, what happens? It will now get cleared actually. If you go there, go to the thing and you go there and then see this now. It will be getting cleared now. I go to the whip and then go to the move transaction and then again go to the pending move transaction and go to the job. Fine. Forty-four percentage do now it will not be there. It is now there still there, so it will take some time now. Fine, it will not show the errors also here. Now. That is what it is. If you select it, then what happens? If you show it, it will not show the errors also. I forgot on that part. So after some time, what happens? It will be getting cleared. Now what happens? You go there, go to the VIP now. <clears throat> then here what happens? You go to the move transaction, and then what happens? You know, go to the discrete discrete job. Fine, go to the VIP, then go to the discrete, and then go to the discrete job. And then query for your job now. Fine, just forty-four percentage two on the new tab. You query it now. Fine, you can find now. So if you go there, go to the operations and go to the quantities. It will move to twenty Q now. Fine, when uh, when the and that gets cleared, what happens? It will be moving to twenty Q now. Fine, control F one. See this now. It will be going to twenty now. So what happens? We are not created the purchase order. I think probably yes. The second purchase order is not created. So that may be the reason now. Fine. Likewise, what happens if you are making some mistake somewhere? What happens? It will be getting stuck there itself. And the second purchase order is not created. We go there, go to the requisition, and then here what happens? We go to this place, purchasing requisition, requisition summary. I have not created the second purchase order. I know that that is what I was forgetting. And go there, and then give a tab now. Item is what? It is the excess sorry. It is the excess percentage. And then give a tab. So on the paint one, what happens? We are at not at create the purchase order. Click on find. That is why what happens is not shipping it to him. I think probably I'm not sure about it. <clears throat> now you will not take a copy of the record and go to the auto create area. And then what happens? We know do this thing. Go to the auto create area. And then clear all the records, and then query the requisition number. Now <coughs> give it a tab. Click on find now. And then what happens? You select it, and then what happens? Click on automatic. We will now create what happens? This one. Fine. It is forty-four percentage on the painter. What happens? You know, creating it now. Fine. Spray painter. We are now creating a purchase order. Fine. Click on create now. <coughs> and then this time, what happens? It go there. And then here, what happens? You see the shipments now. Fine. Click on the shipments now. Click on the shipments. Now <coughs> you can now see this now. Fine. It is not showing only Atlanta. Uh, what happens is no. Uh, uh, actually, what happens his own department only. Fine, his own department will not arrive. Uh, normally, what happens we can even have another. Uh, what happens operation now? Thirty the operation as our own operation. There, what happens if you put it? It will not come to our department's location actually. Our department's location. So we can add it. Actually, what happens we normally do it for more than half a day actually in this exercise. <laughs> I'm not doing it very fast actually. So I even enhance it with uh, so many other things and I'll not do it now. Fine, go there. 
So click on approve now. And it is not showing as only Atlanta because what happens? There is no other uh, operation available now. So it will not uh, remain on one his location. So we have to even move it to our location also. So what happens? We have third thirtieth one where our department, our manufacturing department's location will be shown over here. And approve now. Six seven four six is now approved. And go there. Now what happens? We go there and see now. So now what happens? This pending move will now be removed actually because what happens? Because of certain missing operations, what happens? Not done. So you go to the BIP now. And then uh, what happens? We go to the more transactions, and then go to the pending more transaction. I think probably it will not get report. <coughs> this is what job number fine. Forty-four percentage is good. So job two is the one. We are doing it now. Fine. Click on fine now. It's still there. <coughs> the validation is pending. I forgot on that. Anything we have to do it or not? <coughs> to what happens? Uh, move it automatically, or we may have to wait for some time. I think probably. <coughs> Can you launch the interface manager inventory? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not launched the interface managers at all. That's correct. Fine. All the interface managers, move transaction interface managers, not launched at all. <laughs> Set up. Fine. Go there. Go to the setups. Fine. Transactions. The interface managers, the move transaction interface is not managed. Fine. Go there. I don't know. Made a mistake here. Fine. Go there. So interface. Go to the interface managers. They're not launched. The move transaction interface. Cost is not required. Fine. No, doesn't matter. Fine. Metal transaction. Fine. What happens? Go to the tools and then go to the launch manager. Let me do this one. We can even give a timing basically. Yes, these are all the mistakes. Fine. If any mistake is happening, what happens? It will not do. Fine. Click on schedule now. Let me schedule it periodically. <clears throat> and then I will say half a minute now. Fine. Point 0.5. Point 0.5 and then minutes. I don't think point 0.5 minutes is there. Better give one minute. Uh, okay. On 30 seconds, it is not calculating. Oh, oh, oh. it's okay. Fine. One minute. Second. I will do it now. Fine. Yeah. Seconds is not calculating. Huh? Okay. Fine. Read and one minute. And then submit it now. Fine. More transaction. I have not done it now. Fine. And then here, what I was uh, no middle method. More transaction also. No launch tools. Launch manager. The lot more is for the flow manufacturing. That is what I heard now. Fine. Let me also do that now. Fine. I don't know. I don't know flow manufacturing actually. Fine. Click on OK. And then click on submit now. And then what happens? Go there. A lot more also. Let me launch it. Fine. Go to the tools. And then go to the launch manager now. Click on schedule. Periodically, and then one minute. Click on OK. Click on S. Yes. Click on Submit. So, so if you go and then requery it, what happens? It's all active now. Go there. So it's all running now. Bit more transactions is now running now. Now, what happens upon completion of this? What happens? I can now see. Go to the web now, and then go to the what's called discrete discrete jobs. You are not going to query the job now. Fine. Go there. Assembly is what forty four percentage. I can even query on the assembly. Doesn't matter. Job will not query. Fine. That's the best thing. Forty four percentage two is the one, and the job let me query it now. And then go to the operations. Then go to the quantities now. It has to move now. It is not yet moving. So if there is any operation, any problem anywhere, what happens? Uh, it will not move at all. It will be remaining on the pending move. And then once when it is completed, what happens? It will go to the 20 go now. So we have to wait till it moves now. <clears throat> Altar. I think VIP move transaction is a one. Is no no more day. I think it is not happening now. I think maybe one cycle has to get completed actually. VIP move transaction is now running normal. <coughs> Altar it is not completed. More transaction is for the material here. What is this? So is a more transaction manager only. This is a more transaction. I think this could have been done now. Okay, fine. Now sir, now go there. Then control flow one if you query it now. Fine, go there. Yes, it's come now. Now it is come now. Now the moment I receive it, what happens after the move? What happens? It long go to the two move now. Fine. Had it been a 30th operation, long go to the 30th queue. But since what happens, there is no other operation. What happens upon receiving it? Fine. The next one, I'm going to receive it now. Go there, go to the navigator now. So here, what happens? You go there, go to the inventory. And then here, go to the receiving. Go to the what's called uh, transactions. And then go to the receiving receipts now. I will now query on the item now. I forgot on the purchase order number now. Fine. Item is what? It is XX percentage. It is a painting one. Fine. Go to the paint one. So let me query it now. Fine. Click on fine now. <clears throat> and then go there, close it now. It's a shop floor move actually. Fine, select it and then the shop floor move and then let's come in. 
So till the moon transaction gets completed, what happens? It will be on the pending moon now, on the pending moon transaction. And pending moon and then pending material, all these things will be there. And then once when all this uh, concurrence run complete now, fine. Then what happens? It will be moving to 20 moon. It will now move to 20 moon. Again, it is a big one. It has got so many variants also. I forgot that so many things we used to do actually. It all done some five years back. I never conducted this training at all afterwards now. I forgot on that totally. So I think a VIP transaction worker, I think this has to get completed. Once when it is completed, what happens? It will now go move from 20 Q to 20 move now because there is no other operation. And variance is a very important one. And so what happens? They will now uh, create a report on the variance also. It will not show the variance first. So whenever standard costing is there, what happens as far as the job is concerned, the job will be costed only as per the routing now, right? and not for the, as per the uh, OSP item actually. As per the resource costing only it will be costing. And then if it is not no, what happens it will be costing as per the what happens your uh, OSP item cost. Now. So cost managers will be basically observing the variance and then what happens they will now try to reduce the difference between the uh, OSP item cost and then the resource cost. They will now narrate down so and then now they'll make it almost same as it. So once in the same, what happens? There will not be any PPV hitting now. So what happens? Once when you know the exact costing, then what happens? The selling price can be correctly decided. So go there, close it now. Close it. Go there and see this now. Go there. If you create, what happens? It has to go to two more now. Find count left one. What happens? It has to go to more. Yes, it has got completed. Then it is gone. It has not gone to completion basically. I thought that it will go to two more. Fine, it has got completed. Now, what happens? The total thing has now got completed. Now, fine. Go there, close it. Now, close it. Now, we will now run the purchase price variance report and go there. Fine. It is the purchase percentage, price percentage, variance percentage. The purchase price variance report. Fine. Go there. <coughs> go there. I will not run for both. Basically. Fine. Vendors from. <coughs> Fine, I will now say 44 percentage and we would add. Fine, engraver to what happens? 44 percentage spray painter. Fine, for these two vendors, or now I am running the purchase price variance. Now, my organization name is M1. Go there and click on OK. Then you run it. Submit. What is this? Invalid printer. No print. Oh, save the output. Okay, I will now remove that. Save all output in files when you click on submit now. Invalid print, no print, and then print style and more combination. What is this? Upon completion, save is not there. Click on options now. Save all open is not there. No, maybe you can go to that one. Now go to the options. Right? Yeah, options. Options. The style Android 240 you can try to change that one. Where is it style now? No, oh, come to the third region, third region right hand side. That highlighted one. Oh, here a style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Style element. Just give you a four. Just give you a four. I'm not sure. Oh, it's not asking for the printer actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Percentage. But this one will never. No print. No print. Yeah. Okay. Here. Zero copies. You can give zero oh. copies. Click on options and then make it a zero copies now. Click on OK. <clears throat> Click on submit now. It's not happening. So zero to one is not running now. Fine. Go there and see. Zero to one is the purchase price variance now. Fine. Look at the data. This is in fact the order of the day and then what happens there. Uh, many, many companies are now moving towards manufacturing collaboration actually. Let the collaborator do the job. I oh God, I made an error actually. View output, not show anything. Click on the view log. Unable to open a user to run file basically. Object is what data is not fully enclosed by its enclosing object body. Operating. So, so this. 
you, you have another report xml based so you can try that for oh, okay okay we have another report fine go that click on submit a new request fine let us purchasing purchase price variance you would have so the xml one let me try it now i'm okay I will not put only one vendor. I will go there. It's a what about the forty-four percentage now? And go there. I will not put the spray painter now because there the costing is yes now. I will say yes now. Organization name is M one now. Click on OK. Click on submit now. Again, no coming. Click on options. No print. Okay, everything is there. I'm gonna make it as A4 now. No print. Go for zero copies. Click on OK. Click on Submit now. So zero three zero is the concurrent now. Zero three zero is running. Alter. Only for the spray paint, I'm running it now. Zero three zero. So it is running for a long time, so it will not error out. I think. <laughs> so the BPV is of a big matter as far as the costing is concerned, and then what happens? You know, try to adjust the prices of uh, what happens, the items, and then the resources properly. And we will have one more department in which what happens? It will be received actually. Find the thirtieth operation also. If you put it, it will now come to the thirtieth queue actually. Thirtieth queue. And until then, what happens? It will be on a pending move transaction actually. So once when it is completed, when everything is completed, what happens? It will be coming out of it actually. Oh God, it's taking a long time. <clears throat> will not kill these ones over there. Cancel the request. Oh, yes, no. Kill, kill, cancel it. Cancel the request. Click on yes. All done. So it has to show me this now. Sometimes what happens if you switch responsibilities and come up, it will be getting fastened actually. You go to sysadmin and then come back now. So this completes the, the manufacturing collaboration as well as the course actually. 
it has got even some more delicacies actually. So I've done it in a very fast manner actually. We actually conduct this manufacturing course over a four days time, wherein what happened, the participants also will not parallel do actually, since I am only doing it. So we could do it in seven sessions actually. So, uh, Nana, can you tell about the average cost? Because uh, most of the time we are defining only the standard cost, right? I mean, uh, in what case we will go for the average cost? The average cost will be dynamically adjusting the cost, actually. As and when the cost changes, what happens in the beginning. So, average cost will also have a variance, actually. Fine. Uh, I will now make a record and send it to you on the average cost variance, actually. Fine. How the average cost is not done. Or you would like to have a session, we can even have a session. Okay, so uh, how long it will take? I mean, if you wanted to explain. Around one hour, approximately. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'll check with Priya and how we can do this one. Okay. Okay. It's now completed, fine, go there. <clears throat> you click on the view log now. Or not view log, I think view output there. Go there. Go there. Purchase price variance is the view output of it now. Not coming. I think uh, we have to have the XML one. No? Fine, purchase price variance is now completed. View log is not showing you like this now. It has to you now should be a good format now. Fine. Go Maybe to the view, uh, details. Uh, view details. View details. One second. No go there. No go to this place. View details. View details, no? View, yeah. view details, you're saying, no? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, purchase price variance report in XML layout. Oh, oh, oh. Or maybe under diagnostic, I think we can see the XML. Also here, huh? Yeah. Uh, Deepak, uh, you are there. Uh, 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 Deepak, can we how we can see the XML tags actually? The diagnostic we can see. You're asking who? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I, I'm asking Deepak actually. Deepak. Uh, okay, just click on diagnostics once. Uh, no, no. Diagnostics. Uh, yeah, view XML. View XML, okay, fine. View yeah. XML. Oh. The file is not. The file. Okay, normally we will see here, but in this scenario, mm. it's not coming up. Okay, I think uh, we have unchecked the output file, right? Maybe so, that could be the reason. Okay, fine. If you check the output file, what happens? It will be coming properly, yeah? Mm. Yes, yeah. But a printer needs to be corrected, na? Save to your file, you have to say, na? Okay, man. Mm. Not necessary, actually. So the file will be there in the server. Uh -huh. That's a different thing. Okay. 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 That's good then. What happens if you want a class on the average co average costing? What happens? The variance has to be analyzed actually. Right? We need a variance analysis now, and then it may take around hours time. This is what I feel now. And if you want, I can make a record. Otherwise, what happens? If you want to have a session for interaction, we can even have it tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, I I'll let you know, Nana, because I I'll check the people's timing availability okay. and I'll drop a mail. Okay. okay. In the case, what happens? I'll now make even a recording and then send it to you also. Okay. Okay. Sure. Bye for now, and then we'll see you later. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Nana. Bye. <clears throat> so, if you have any requirement for fusion procurement or any other modules, because I'll be <clears throat> gradually going in, and then you can call me always now. Right? <clears throat> yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Nana. Bye. Yeah.